is the opportunity to explore certain aspects of a possible field of interest for students who for a relatively long amount of time may have wanted to go into the medical field. OSA has become literally part of my life. It's the most, one of the most important things that I've dedicated to. The HOSA SLC is basically the competition we go to. Um, it consists of multiple, multiple different types of competitions we do in the HOSA field. Uh, it does anything from medical terminology to medical math to medical photography, all the way to extemporaneous speaking, which is what I um, participated in. Um, it was fun. Um, it was my first time going this year, so yeah, it was really like different than what I expected, I guess. We had more like free time to hang out with our friends, but still also learn new things. Uh, being that it was my second leadership conference, it was really, really good. Um, I helped lead around and it was the one of the most best experiences I've ever had. State is great, nationals is even better. It was a wonderful experience, I believe, for all of our students. They all um, competed and took it really seriously, did a good job. Um, there's also educational symposiums that the students can go to, which um, range from learning about surgery to learning about different um, other medical techniques, uh, learning about nursing, and just all the different options there are available for a career in medical uh, field that isn't just being a doctor. It was mostly the environment and like the, the spirit and the, how pumping you get because everyone's so excited, everyone gets, gets up, everyone's screaming, it's just like we are going to be the future and we're happy and we're proud of that. I think the best part was getting to talk, like the kids getting to experience a downtown kind of area of Athens and watch them kind of be like, wow, this is what it is and like, yeah, this is what college life is like, you know, kind of getting that, that little peek into like, oh, this one's going to be also and I wish it wasn't raining. Uh, the people who did come on the tour of the North Campus was a lot of fun. They also have an opening ceremony, which is uh, lots of lights and loud music and rah-rah. It was interesting. You don't expect it from a medical competition. You, th you, th you think it would be less like craziness, more actual competition focus, but it turns out that HOSA opening ceremony is very uh, like you know, hype-oriented. <laughs> it was a blast. Like All the songs like we all recognized and just had a great time because everyone was just screaming, just showing their spirit for their own schools, and it was great. The opening ceremony is very similar to a party, but it's organized because it's for this big convention, but it's really cool because there's, a lot, like the lights are dim, there's cool neon lights, and like you're cheering for your own school, so there's just a bunch of cool energy there. Everybody, when you get to experience stuff, people in different areas of the country, different areas of the state, it's really fun to watch people bring their particular life, you know, experiences in, and you know, saying, "Oh, hey, we do the same things." You know, stuff that just happens here in Northview happens everywhere. Or, "Hey, that's really weird that you do that because we do it this way." Um, that experience just alone is is worth going. But then, get new experience the city of Athens. Athens is, in my opinion, I may be biased, but one of the best college cities in the country. It is a college town, so we also we had to we got to eat a bunch of good food around the different restaurants, and we got to walk around, chill. It's a very nice place to you know, relax. I like the college town feel, so like it was fun and it was nice to see all the different stores and like restaurants. And the campus was beautiful. Yeah, we had a lot of free time in between. We were able to just walk around with a group of your choosing. And it's also an opportunity to um, just explore the campus of UGA as well, which is a huge upside. So you're getting two for one. Not only are you missing school, you're also getting the opportunity to visit like one of the most desirable colleges to go to in Georgia. Uh, we actually went out. Uh, we were at the Georgia Center for a while, and then we went out and uh, went to lunch and uh, made some suggestions for the kids to go to different places. Um, some of the kids came with me over to uh, one of my favorite places, Little Italy who makes the best sandwiches in the world, bar none. The main thing, of course, is um, the competitions and doing well. The whole point of it is to see how far kids can go competition-wise. Because whenever we think of the medical field, we think of it more as, not as a competition, as just memorization, you know, as learning. 
But one great thing about competition, and especially about HOSA SLC, is that competition doesn't have a limit. It's exhilarating because you, you're putting forth your best efforts and you're really determined to, for like one goal. And if you're in a team event, it brings your whole team closer because you're all going for the one thing and it just, it's, it's a fun experience. We've always had um, a good representation at nationals. It's extremely competitive and to get to place in the top 10 at nationals is a really big deal. Last year we had a first place winner and we had um, about four other winners that placed in the top 10, which was super. And the first year we had, I think, just one person out of seven placed in the top 10, which was still extremely good. What was the dance like? It was very fun and interesting. And I was like surprised because a lot of people were dancing and I thought like everyone would just stand off in like corners and clicks because like you know how we're all from like different schools but like everyone was dancing together and it was really fun. Well I went to the dance and it was a good stress relief after a whole day of competing so just going to dance and meeting new people was great. Um, it was actually really fun. Like they played really pumping songs, and we all like danced for a while. Then we would go up to the game night room and just just have fun, just talk about meet new people. Actually, I think the game night was a good way to relax. You know, there was a huge um, dance. There were games uh, we could play upstairs because the SLC was a huge, huge place for all of us to um, just hang out. And so it was a great place to unwind. Closing ceremony is. Um really special because that's where the kids uh, find out if they want a medal and get to go on to nationals. The closing ceremony was really nerve-wracking for the first part because you didn't know when they're going to announce your event and you're basically on the edge of the chair waiting for your event but after you find out and you're like a little more relaxed it was actually really fun because you got to meet you got to see where what all your other um, classmates were doing and you could meet the new officers afterwards. It was a good end to the new at good end of the day seeing all those um, is Northeast students on the stage. Uh, what did it feel like to win? There's really no description. I remember when I found out, I looked like an idiot on the stage because I just froze. So I guess it was a cool experience. <laughs> Winning is probably the most exciting part of HOSA because you get to stand on that stage in front of all those people, a lot of people that you know, a lot of people that you competed against and just say, we're going to be it. We're going to be the future. We already excel in a lot of academic areas. And to see us go away from the traditional, because, I mean, that's what Northview is known for, right? We're known for our test averages. We're known for our SATs. We're known for our excellence in academics, but that's about it. We've moved so fast along the road to being one of the most, not only successful, but enjoyable chapters to be a part of. Our chapter is really involved. We have very like high performers, so it's it makes me really happy seeing all these people just going far. Like our our new freshmen, a lot of them made to made it to state, a lot of them made it to nationals. So it's just like seeing their happiness makes me happy. Our chapter is appealing because we're all so close, and like right before you go to stay or on the bus, everybody's just kidding, like joking around with each other. So it's like you're a huge family. So I feel like our chapter is a closely knit family and it's just nice to have. This year we have 150 members and 95 went to state and 30 are going to nationals as I said. So we've really increased a lot. I think the word has gotten out um, to the kids that it's a fun club to be in. Our chapter of HOSA is special because um, we've never had the healthcare classes and so that's kind of made it more difficult for us but it's also helped us in some ways because we do have more motivation to kind of show the other clubs that do have healthcare classes that we are able to accomplish um, as much as they do or maybe more. Nationals are a big deal. There's about 6,000 people there. So it's at least twice as big as state, although Georgia does have the largest state competition. Um, and it's really fun. Uh, the kids, you know, we travel together with a tour company on charter buses and um, there's lots of exciting things to do. Um, so the HOSA NLC National Leadership Conference is basically um, the top three of all our, um, yeah, top three of all the winners at each state level uh, go to compete. And this year it will be at um, Disney 
And last year it was at the Gaylord Opryland Hotel in Tennessee. And so it's um, a great experience and it's also kind of an excuse to tell your parents, oh, I need to go to a resort. <laughs> Uh, Nationals is fun, and the Disney being at Disney is really exciting. It gives you lots to do when you're not um, involved in, in those homestay activities. So we stay at the Disney Resort, and we get to go to the Disney parks, and then you spend two days competing, and it's um, definitely very intense because it's like the most competitive and uh, most intelligent kids who have been working really hard at um, your um, competition. You get to meet the national officers and they do make a point to come out to visit us and um, it's just a lot of fun. It's kind of like a big party or sleepover with your friends. I'm dedicated because I love the environment. It's like you meet new people and you instantly become friends because you're both getting involved in this, this field that you know like helps people and by having that mindset everyone's super duper nice and yeah everyone's just really friendly. For people who are interested in the medical field, of course, that's like one of the main reasons why we join HOSA, so I guess that's appealing. And then also, I know that like the SLC and then if you make it to nationals, the trips are definitely appealing. HOSA is an incredibly um, opportunity for all of us. It gives us an insight to the future for us and um, healthcare. It's just a fun experience to get to hang out with your friends just escape stress from school. I think it's great for students to join HOSA because it really helps them to learn a little bit more about the medical field. Um, we have a lot of bright students at this school and a lot of kids want to be doctors and it just I think helps for them to learn about all the different disciplines of medicine. Not just being a doctor but also um, EMT and nursing and pharmacology and um, physical therapy, sports medicine. So they can kind of, if they take a different test each year, they can explore different options and they can go to these educational symposiums. And um, of course we have the in-house training as well. So it's just a great exposure to healthcare. And um, I think it opens up students' ideas of what's possible. And honestly, in high school, I don't think we do enough of learning about what um, future occupations could be. So this is one way, um, without taking a lot of extra time, for kids to, to learn a little bit more about the medical field.